So I'm going to show you how to wrap this gorgeous cabochon. So we're going to use gallery wire and we're going to use, um, we're going to choose which gallery wire we want. There are three different designs. This is sterling silver gallery wire. So you can see I've got this gorgeous Egyptian turquoise round cabochon. So we're going to have a look at the size and the shape and the depth of the cabochon and that will help us decide which gallery wire to use. So I'm actually going to use, uh, for this one, I'm going to use the oval type of gallery wire, which is this design here. So I'm going to use, I'm going to use this gallery wire because I think this will really, really grip and secure that size shape of cabochon. So I'm going to use this one. The other things that I'm going to use, tools wise, I'm going to use uh, my flush cutters, my chain nose pliers, I might use a, a file uh, or an awl here, and I've got a ring mandrel which will help me form the circle. And then I've also got findings wise, I'm going to use a jump ring, and I'm going to have a little bit of scrap wire as well. So my starting point is going to be, and I have a look, and I want to shape the wire around the stone. So to make sure that I've got enough to create a bail with the oval gallery wire, I'm going to have a look at the, the design of the gallery wire, and I want to make sure that I count three full ovals. So I'm going to count one, two, three, and that's going to become my bail. So I'm going to take my chain nose pliers, I'm just going to, after the third oval from the end, so one, two, three, I'm going to put an angle in and bend that up. So I now know that I've got enough of the gallery wire to create a bale on this side. So then I'm going to take my cabochon, which is absolutely beautiful. I'm going to start and start to wrap this around. So what can be useful here is if you're going to form, you want to form nice smooth curves. So we're going to use, this is where my ring mandrel is going to come in. I'm going to start and just wrap the gallery wire around the ring mandrel to get that nice curve. So I'm just pushing the, the three that I had for the bale out the way slightly. And I go slightly past there so I get a nice curve. And I take this round. So this really is shaping the gallery wire around the stone because we want a nice, tight, snug fit. So it's going to form really closely around that stone. So you can see, so already, although there's not very much tension, just me holding here, it's not dropping out. So that's what we want to make sure that we keep that tension there. So I'm going to hold here and making sure that that's sitting flush and that so you can see with the you can already see that that's going to work really nicely and securely with this oval type gallery wire so i'm going to hold here so i'm then going to pinch here and what that's done is that has formed the shape so i'm going to hold here with my chain nose pliers and that has formed the shape around the cabochon so we can move on to the next stage now, which is going to be securing the stone and moving the prongs. So I'm going to hold here and then I don't need, I don't need all of the rest of this, this, this part of the gallery wire here. So again, as we started off when we got one, two, three at the beginning, we're going to have one, two, three on this side as well. So I'm going to hold here again and take my flush cutters. And you can see I'd already put that angle in with the chain nose pliers there. So I'm going to count one, two, three, and cut off here. And we can use that gallery wire for something else. I'm going to just pop that out of the way. So we've now got the setting for the cabochon and enough for a bale. So I'm just again, I'm just going to put a bit of an angle in here. So the next thing I need to do is I need to start and push some of these, these parts of the, uh, the gallery wire down so that they're going to be against the stone. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to just let the stone come out. I'm going to start with my chain nose pliers. I'm just supporting the gallery wire in the middle with this thumb. I'm going to turn in. And you can do different sorts of variations, uh, uh, decorative variations with how many prongs you turn in. I'm actually going to turn all of these in 
So you can see I'm going to work my way all the way around until I've turned in. I'm just going to do it all on the one side at the moment and this is probably going to be the back. And you can see it's coming out of shape slightly but we can wrap that back around the round of the cabochon. So it's lovely and malleable. It's sterling silver. So I'm going to keep bringing this around with the chain nose pliers. So you can see I'm just turning them in and I'll show you the angle that this is at. So I'm going to bring all these in. So you see I'm just gripping. There are actually three balls on this, um, the oval style. So I'm using my chain nose pliers, gripping those three balls and turning it in. So you can see all the way around there. So that's actually curved the ones at the back compared to the, the flat ones at the front. So again, so I'm going to pop the cabochon back in and wrap that back around. So if you've got a stone where there was a very, very definite, uh, you wanted markings at the top, you'd just have to, at this point, maybe centre it so that you were happy with the position of the stone. This one's got a gorgeous matrix going, going all the way through it, so I'm happy that there isn't really a, a top or a bottom. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pop that back in and maybe reshape around, and I can already see that I need to do one more here. So I'm going to turn this in. And I put that back around. So we can see now by turning that in at the at the back, that's going to stop it from falling out at the bottom there. So you can already see I need to go back around and just when I when I'm happy with it and it's and it's secure in the setting, I can go in and fold these prongs over more securely. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my little bit of scrap wire and I go through the first oval and just secure and go through the other side. I'm just going to bind these and that's going to then secure the setting and we can get rid of this scrap wire afterwards. So again, I'm going to push this so that they're coming in line. So what I'm going to do then, I'm actually, now that it's secure here, I'm going to go in and I'm going to start to press the prongs down at the front. So this was the one that I could already see I needed to go back in. So I might as well just start there. So I've angled my chain nose pliers. I'm going to push against the top and the bottom of the stone. If you feel more confident and comfortable to do it, you could just do one side, or you could even use a bezel pusher if you wanted to, but I'm just gonna use both parts of the chain nose pliers to push against. I'm gonna work all the way around the stone, taking my time, so I'm pushing it. So the sterling silver is going against the stone. I'm gonna work all the way around. So this is going to become nice and secure. And if you need to, go back in and tighten the bail there. So when you're happy that that's secure and that you've gone round all of the prongs, let's do another couple here. I'm now going to grip the three ovals. So I'm going to hold them so they're lined up. I'm going to grip, use my um, chain nose pliers, and I'm going to grip across this middle oval. So if you remember at the beginning, we counted one, two, three ovals. I'm going to go against, like this, in that middle oval. I'm going to hold the stone and the gallery wire. I'm going to turn and do a twist like this. So that gallery wire goes from facing forward to now it's facing the side, so we can see here. So this, what this has done now is we've pushed all the, the prongs down and we've started to create that bale. So now what we're going to do is set the stones and now we're going to make the bale. So we've got our three ovals here, one, two, three. And what we're going to do is we're going to get a jump ring through this middle oval here. And what you might find is that your, the, the gauge of wire used on your jump ring might be a little bit thick to go through the hole in the oval. So what, you, what you'll need to do is, so I'm going to leave the scrap wire on for the moment, and I'm just going to use my file or my awl, try and line up those holes. I'm going to work my way in. So it's just twisting, I'm going to get rid of some, just a tiny amount of that sterling silver and just enlarge the hole. So I'm going to bring this through here, and I'm going to go the other side as well, and we're going to enlarge that hole. It depends on what size jump ring you use of how much you have to do this. And remove some of the silver. So I'll pick this up. This is quite a thick jump ring, so I might need to take 
bit more of it out. I'm going to see if this goes through. So I'm going to bring this round. And it's really useful as well if you find that the holes line up. So I'm going to take a little bit more out. Just get rid of some more of that. So you can see it's just turning action. And let's file away some of that silver. Making sure that it doesn't move out of shape. And I go from the front and the back. We'll see how this is working now. So I'm going to pick up my jump ring and bring that through. And we'll guide it so that it's going all the way through. And this is then going to close this up. So you can, it's entirely up to you. You can get rid of that little scrap bit of wire now. So what you can do if you wanted to is we could snip off that top oval if you didn't want that in. And you could just have the middle oval as the top. It depends what, what design you want and how big the jump ring is. You can also then go in and I'm just going to go back and just close some of these up. If you feel like it's still not holding and it's not secure, you can see here I've got two points. So I could curl this over. So I'm bringing sort of the, the three balls that are on the one side of the oval and folding it over with my pliers. So just sort of almost crimping over. But there you go. So you can see there you've got your gallery wire going around your beautiful Egyptian turquoise. So you can see that is how you use your gallery wire around your cabochons.